Alibaba Cloud Scrubbing Center in Indonesia, launched March 2021. Cybersecurity is increasingly becoming a threat to most businesses. There are a total of 495 million cyber attacks targeting Indonesia in 2020, which is three times more attacks than in 2019. What is a scrubbing center? One of the most common cybersecurity attacks globally in Indonesia are distributed denial of service or DDoS attack. DDoS attacks number is estimated to reach 14.5 million in 2022 globally. Under DDoS attacks, 80 of the victims have impact on their business continuity by bringing down website entirely. Scrubbing Center will analyze the traffics and remove malicious traffics that are coming. Alibaba Cloud Scrubbing Center will help combat against these cybersecurity attacks or DDoS attacks. What is Alibaba Cloud Anti-DDoS Service? Alibaba Cloud Anti-DDoS Service will protect your business by leveraging Alibaba Cloud Security Network. Alibaba Cloud Anti-DDoS, protect, resist and migrate the impact of DDoS attacks with the help of Alibaba Cloud Scrubbing Center. Anti-DDoS has been widely used by Alibaba Group and has safeguarded more than 5,000 DDoS attacks in one day. When under DDoS attack, it will redirect the traffic to the closest scrubbing center. How does Alibaba Cloud Scrubbing Center helps combat DDoS attacks? Alibaba Cloud Scrubbing Center is globally deployed to seamlessly mitigate DDoS attacks. Alibaba Cloud has 10 scrubbing centers distributed around the world with a total capacity of 10 terabyte plus to clean DDoS traffic. As attacks comes from around the world, when there's an attack, each cleaning center does not work independently. But each scrubbing center work together with other scrubbing center across the world. Each of our scrubbing center will participate in cleaning. Indonesian scrubbing center will allow lower latency when these attacks occur. Alibaba Cloud Scrubbing Center in Indonesia is launching on March 2021. Protect your business with Alibaba Cloud Anti-DDoS Solution. Alibaba Cloud Scrubbing Center is available in Indonesia starting March 2021. Learn more by visiting our DDoS product page.